well, Worcester are a talented team and they play well together. Uh, so you've got to give them credit for that. Um, we said, we talked about, at the start of the game, we talked about commitment to defense and playing at the required level of effort, especially when you're playing against a talented team like that. Uh, that. That was not always the case today, and it was very much on who we had on the court. Uh, we didn't always put, were prepared to put our body on the line, we didn't hustle, and we didn't show the level of commitment that is required to compete against a team like Worcester. The first five minutes in the fourth quarter and the last five minutes in the second quarter are very indicative of that, and we've got to be better than that. Um, but at the same time, there were some positives. There was, I felt like Danny Dozy and, and Chris Taylor, I thought they were outstanding today. And there were some other guys as well, but I felt that their effort and their commitment to what we were doing was excellent. Talk about Worcester, they had a couple of new additions into their team recently, you know, Gilchrist and Ojo, and it's kind of tough with a player like Ojo to kind of really do the scouting report properly since, you know, he's just joined the club and you haven't had much footage from a couple of years ago. Oh, uh, you know, we knew about Ojo that he was a handful, you know, we knew he would be a headache for us. And, and you say Gilchrist is a good player and, you know, they have a talented roster. And, uh, but ultimately for us is, you know, it's about the performance. We've said this before, it's not about the result. And I feel we can compete with everyone when our levels of effort and commitment to what we do is to the required level. So yeah, we're all playing against the talented team and they are going to make shots and they are going to make plays, but we've got to make it difficult for them every single possession down the court. And we've got to play with that type of mentality. And uh, I felt today if we did that, the result would have been different. You mentioned it briefly there, but the energy that Chris Taylor brought from the bench tonight. How impressed were you with, with his performance tonight? Because he really seems to be fitting into this team really well now. He was outstanding. He did exactly what he had to do, and he wasn't. He made some shots, but it wasn't him making shots. It's about how he went about it. He competed for everything. He went after the ball. He put his body on the line. Did he do mistakes? Yes, of course he did. But he was there all the time. He was trying to do the right things for the team to be successful. And you look ahead now to next week, uh, Leicester Riders away from home, so a, a tough run in with them and, and London Lions as well coming out. What needs to be changed or what needs to be altered going into those ones? Well, guys have to look themselves in the mirror. You know, we've got to watch video and people have to be honest with themselves and they've got to look. Uh, was our effort to the required level? Was our commitment to what we've got to do? Was our body language right on and off the court? So if someone was not playing well and he was on the bench, was that body language right? And I think people have to reflect on that and they've got to be true and honest to ourselves because for us it's about where we want to be as a club and, and it's not just about one result it's about the way we want to play in terms of our basketball and and I think we've got to look back at ourselves reflect and just put it behind us and just learn from it but actually do something about it and get ourselves ready for what is going to be a very difficult game in Leicester you know one they're one of the top teams in the league and, and ultimately for us is it goes back to the performance play to the standard that we want to play and that's the most important thing everything else you know will take care of itself but we've got to play to the high standards that we want to play and we want to play Flyers basketball we've got to do it all the time we've got to be commitment to that